for this interview. Thank, Thank you for you. your time. I'm very happy I'm uh, with you for two times uh, in two days. First of all, uh, tell me how you see the preparation and the arrangement for this show. Uh, it's going amazingly well. First of all, let me thank, I want to thank the, um, the GSA for bringing us here. And uh, it's exciting for WWE to be here in Saudi Arabia. And um, we have such a large fan base here that are very excited about us being here. And when you come into town and you land and as you're driving into the city, you see billboards and signs and uh, neon neon posters and everything else that are uh, that are just fabulous. And the it's, feeling there is a big event here. There, it is very exciting. The buzz in town yeah. when WWE is around, it, everything yeah. is very exciting, and and it's no different here in Saudi Arabia. You can feel the energy. Um, I think you sense that through the the tryouts that we had this week while we were here, and I know that going over to the stadium and uh, seeing they've been they've been over there now for. Uh, the last 10 days or so building the set. Um, I can assure you that uh, I don't think it, people here in, in Saudi Arabia have seen anything like they're going to witness at the, the greatest Royal Rumble. You're speaking about the huge fans in Saudi Arabia about the wrestling. Do you think you are late to come here, WWE? That it's late? Yeah. Um, I don't know that late. I think um, it's just taken us a, a bit of time. We've been here before, but I think it's taken us time to come here with an event as large as needed to be done. Mm. I think it took um, us partnering somebody, partnering with somebody, the GSA, um, kind of uh, coming to us about coming here in a larger way. It's um, especially th the timing of this time of year. We just got done WrestleMania, which is our biggest event. And then to come here to Saudi Arabia th three weeks later with the greatest Royal Rumble, um, which is on some levels uh, from a production standpoint, every bit as big as WrestleMania is. And, and when mm -hmm. you see it, you'll realize um, it's a tremendous undertaking. Us coming here with that type of event that large that quickly after WrestleMania has been a huge undertaking. But it's been exciting to do the partnership here um, with the GSA has been amazing. They've been wonderful to work with and, and really excited. And we're excited to not only um, come here with such a large event and showcase what WWE does to the world, but to showcase uh, Saudi Arabia, to showcase the culture, to showcase the people and, and um, the cultural uh, stand, from a cultural standpoint, what it means to, to Saudi Arabia for the WWE to be here and how big of a, a fan base we have. Okay, WWE has uh, has been two times in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Like house show. What yes. Is a, yes. Not what a is the difference between a house show and uh, so uh, a, a house show, uh, mm -hmm. as as you would refer to, we call it WWE Live. Um, it's for fans. It's non televised, so it's not seen by the world. It's seen by the people in that arena. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually still all your favorite superstars. You get to see them in person up close. Um, has less production value, more about what you're seeing in the ring. Um, this show, the Greatest Royal Rumble, is going to be seen, while it is happening here in Saudi Arabia, it'll be seen all over the world. Not just here in the Middle East, through, through everything here, um, but um, through the WWE Network and our partners globally. It'll be seen the world over. Um, while it's happening here. The production level of this show, it will be in King Abdul Stadium with, you know, 60, 70,000 fans in attendance. It will have the massive production and set value and everything else that you see at WrestleMania or the Royal Rumble or SummerSlam. It, it's it's a, a much larger scale event. Can you tell me about the broadcast channels? Uh, it's all channels in the world, in USA, in all area. It will be out, outside of the Middle East and partnerships here. It will be on the WWE Network. Uh, in the next, we can say SmackDown or Raw in the Saudi Arabia in the future? Uh, let's hope. The, you know, the, the wonderful thing about what we're doing is our partnership with the GSA. It's a 10-year uh, partnership. And, and hopefully we'll go much longer than that. But over the next 10 years, it's not just about coming here, to be honest, uh, coming here with the greatest Royal Rumble, as spectacular and as amazing as it will be, is a small piece of what this is. This is about WWE uh, being here in Saudi Arabia. This is about WWE setting up a, a kind of a, a foothold here. And um, 
I think time will tell what we come back with. I think larger events, television events, um, other pay-per-views, I think it will continue to grow in scope. From my side of it, I, you know, as you saw here this week, we were here with a tryout. We had 27 athletes from around the region trying out with WWE. Eight will continue on in the process in the following week until the, uh, the greatest Royal Rumble. And then um, we'll see. Hopefully some of them will be successful and we'll bring them back to the U.S. to the Performance Center in Orlando and uh, begin training them to see if they can become uh, WWE superstars and in some way global ambassadors for the, for the Middle East, for, for Saudi Arabia. Um, but I, I think part of that association of the 10-year plan for me would be setting up a larger presence here from a recruiting standpoint, maybe a training presence here, um, maybe opening up a performance center here in Saudi Arabia and, and really looking, really looking for that next um, level performer, that, that, uh, that special athlete here in Saudi Arabia that can become a, a global household name, a global superstar under the WWE banner. Uh, their guys is speaking about one week is more short for a talents because there we have more talents. Yes. But you didn't think build uh, some school for WWE or some academy for WWE in Saudi Arabia? W w that is a thought for us, a performance center here. Um, that just takes time. The the one week is us just for us to see what they have. Uh, we did this tryout, uh, the KSA tryout, in a very short period of time. So it was a very superficial look at, at what's available here. I think that um, this tryout sort of opens doors for people and allows them to see that this is real, that this is not, a, it's not just a dream, it's, it's a real opportunity. Um, so that when we do the next recruiting here, uh, as we dig deeper into the country to find that next level of talent, we'll get better and better athletes applying. And then, for now, we would be bring them back to the U.S. The long-term goal would be to have something here, to be able to train them deeply here and, and have a larger presence, 20, 30, 50 talent training here at all times to become superstars. I have uh, also two more questions about the ticket. First of all, before I ask you about the sold-out tickets, I want to ask you about, uh, there in some big event, their kind of ticket is named uh, uh, Meet and Great. Can yes. take a photo and can yes. sign with. The people said we didn't find it like this ticket in uh, in this event. Mm -hmm. Why or and maybe we can find it in the future. I, I think probably in the future. I'm not sure what is available right now. Yeah. To be honest, um, I, I'm I'm sure in the future we will. A little bit of the um, the challenge for us right now in in here is um, as we do Ron SmackDown in the U.S. Mm -hmm. then getting everybody to travel here, arriving here, prepare for the event, do the event, and then get back for Raw and SmackDown. Um, so sometimes the timing of that event, um, while our WWE superstars would love nothing more than to sit down and be able to meet as many Saudi Arabian fans as possible, they also have to get ready for, uh, for a large-scale event. And, uh, you know, it, t it takes some preparation time to be able to uh, land in a country where the time is completely different and the culture is different to uh, mentally prepare to, to step into the ring. You know, Roman Reigns has to, uh, has to do some, some preparation to get in the ring with Brock Lesnar. Um, I have to yeah. do some preparation to get in the ring with John Cena. So those things take a little bit of time. But uh, it's something that we definitely look forward to in the future. Yeah. Last question. If you go to the website, if you go to the store shopping, you can find only one, uh, one word sold out. Uh, yeah. What's meaning for you? Um, it's wonderful. With a short time, eh? Yeah, it, it's, it's wonderful. If, if um, events like this where we can come into uh, a region like Saudi Arabia, put on a large scale event like this and um, have fans so excited about it. When you step outside of the hotel or anywhere you go, it's all you hear people talking about. Um, to have that level of excitement in a region for us is, is wonderful. Um, and for us to be able to come here and put the show on for people is an amazing experience. I know that uh, people are excited about us being here. I guarantee you we're going to deliver them something special. Last things, I give you one minute to say everything what we want. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this interview, and I give you the mic. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I just say to the people of Saudi Arabia, thank you, because it's been, um, I've been here just for a few short days. 
in preparation for this event. Anytime I've been here, it's been spectacular. But this trip has been something special. The, the people of Saudi Arabia, um, the GSA, everybody has just uh, opened their arms to us and embraced WWE. Um, we embraced them back, and um, I'm excited. This event will be amazing. I think we will leave people very excited, and I'm excited about the future to return here to, uh, to Saudi Arabia and, and uh, continue to show what WWE does, which is put smiles on people's faces the world over. Thank you. <coughs> شكرا عمار بحكيم ليس من السهل ان تسال شخص وانت غير متخصص بهذه اللعبه